your pools, light your blunts up, get your hot drugs, and we doing it. I serve your ass like John Mackinmo, put a 45 coat to the back of your skull. I'm Mike from Mike's Beer Reviews, welcome back. Um, you know, let me turn on, I mean, I'll turn on a couple more lights, I'll be right back. There we go, now we're good now. So, today I have a special release, um, from... Bell's Brewery out of Comstock, Michigan, I think. Um, first time I've ever seen it was last year. And it's a double IPA. I think they usually release it around this time. So, and I kind of decided that I'm probably not going to review um, every single thing that I go and buy. But I will still be reviewing stuff, no matter what it is. Craft beer, malt liquor, anything like that. So, here it is guys, from Bell's Brewery, this is the Oracle. Like I said, it's a, what, it's a West Coast style double IPA, even though Bell's is from Michigan. It says they use a Pacific, North, Pacific Northwest hops. Friggin' easy sag on, on my pocket. And before I continue, um, yes, if you look at the top right corner of the screen, you'll see a watermark. I'm going to be using a, uh, a video editing app that I saw on my phone, so just ignore that because, because since my laptop, my the my Chrome on my on my on my laptop is out of commission, so I can't really uh, upload it to YouTube and then edit it there. But should be pretty highly. I think it's a pretty highly rated on Beer Advocate and whatnot. And it's also and, and it's also you can see right there, ten percent alcohol by volume, and it was uh, bottled on July tenth of twenty fifteen. So it's no more than three months old. I don't think I have that cap, so I'm gonna be. Using my uh, Spyderco Tenacious to, to get it off. Ooh. Messed up the cap there, but okay, it's starting to bubble up. I know a lot about beer, but I don't know everything. It starts, it starts bubbling at the top. Is that all right? I think I think it should be fine. I'm gonna use a nice goblet here. And it's time to take a look at the Oracle. It's it is a nice, cloudy, bright orange amber color. Maybe almost a uh, golden amber. Let me set that. Let me set that in front of you so you guys can get a good look at that. How about that? This is a beautiful beer. I think at Fire Talks it was like. Three twenty nine for the bottle. Um, some people might find that a little bit overpriced for a beer. Let me uh, yeah, front of here so you know what we're drinking. But it should be a pretty nice beer. So look, then let's give it a sniff. Getting citrus, sweet citrus. Definitely some piney notes, but subtle. It's like orange and a little bit of sour grapefruit. It's 
that it is a very nice smell. And there's a little bit of like a malt sweetness under, under it. So, cheers guys. Let's enjoy some of the Oracle. And the hops hitting on the finish. Sweet citrus up front, and that, and then as soon as, soon as it gets the, it gets the finish, it's just a sucker punch of bitterness. There, there is enough of a malt, there is enough of a malt bill there that, um, so it won't, so it'll even, it will even make it easier to drink for even the seasoned hop vets. I think this would probably be a little bit too hoppy for some people who are not used to drinking IPAs. But for a double, for a double IPA, this is exceptional. Up front, it's like, it's like orange and mango. And then on the finish, it's like resin and pine sap all roll into one. I love that shit. So, yep, another great beer by Bell's Brewery. Um, I got uh, one more uh, limited limited release beer to review in my fridge, and then um. Maybe I maybe I'll probably might review a beer that I've been um, aging since last year, but other than that, I do not have that much to review. Maybe I might review that a bottle of the uh, Urban Chestnut Stalipa, but this this is a glass full. Glass full to glass overflowing. This is a fantastic beer. So, so to everyone, thanks for watching. Cheers. I'll see you on the next one.